Kupitizina literally means now, naming ceremony and is deeply rooted in the African tradition of naming newborns. The event began in 2003 based on the human practice of naming babies. Giving baby gorilla names form part of efforts to monitor and track their movement, particularly at a time that many animal species are becoming endangered. Mountain gorillas therefore thrive in wonder as a result of the concerted effort to keep track of them. Today's ceremony goes well beyond the gorillas as it provides us with the most visible and evident symbol of conservation. As a result of this effort, the mountain gorilla has become more of a national identity for Rwanda and each year, during Kwetezina, several thousand tourists throng the East African country to catch a glimpse of the fabled gorillas. I have been to the mountain, I've talked to the gorillas, which I thought, thought was really, you know, incredible. I was here at the gorilla naming ceremony, so having, ha having trekked the gorillas before the ceremony, I actually appreciate the effort by the Rwanda government to conserve the, the biggest tourist attraction, which is basically the mountain gorillas. During this year's event, 18 new baby gorillas were welcomed into their respective families. The event also saw the display of rich Wandan culture to the admiration of visitors. The Kwitizina is one huge celebration that is very unique and the fact that it's happening here in Rwanda and it's where I was born makes me feel so proud about it. In the year 2013, the Rwandan community raised over 300 million dollars from tourism. Out of this, over 80% came from gorilla tourism. It is no surprise that each year over 3,000 people gather to celebrate Quita Isina, the festival that marks the birth of new gorillas. The naming is a time for the international community to realize that conservation efforts, when done effectively, can yield results as evidenced by Rwandan gorillas.